everybody. I hope you're doing fantastic as always. Today we are going to be talking about materials and tiling. So generally when you add a material to a large object, it would look something like this, where the tiling may not be how you like it, and the pattern may not be in the direction that you like it. So instead of rotating the whole object to make it the correct way, we can just change the tiling size and rotation like this. Now it does look better by default on smaller objects depending on your texture, like this is default and that is default. But ideally, we can make it look exactly like we want by just resizing and rotating. So that is what we'll be looking at how to do today. Let's go ahead and start. So the first thing I want to make abundantly clear is these materials are from the iPerfection kit on Unreal Marketplace that was free a couple months ago. Uh, it's not anymore. So that is what these are from. Since we used these as an example, I'll go ahead and show you how you actually change these. It is already been set up for us. Uh, so we'll, we will cover this and then how to do it on your own material from scratch. So how we did it from here was we just went into a uh, our, our material. Let's go into a different one so we can show it from scratch here. All right, so we have our bricks. You wanna make sure this modify, this probably won't be checked. Make sure you have modify UV settings checked. Make sure the second one is checked as well. And now you will see a UV settings. Make sure you have your all maps UV scale checked and all maps UV rotate checked. Now we can go in here and make sure these are checked. And if we actually just make this a little smaller, we can see what that does. So this is the rotate tool. If we change this to 1.25 or just 0.25, you gotta think about it like this. One being a maximum, a quarter or a 25% rotate would be 0.25. So now it's vertical. And if we do 1.25, it's still the same. So 0.5 would be upside down, so would 1.5. Again, we can't tell because it's a seamless texture, but that's how that works. So we can just leave that how it was, and then we'll adjust our scale, and we can see what this does as we adjust it. So the larger the scale, the smaller the padding pattern and the larger or the smaller the scale the larger the pattern and it's going to work the same way just a little more complicated when we set up our own material so let's go ahead and do that we're going to go to our material and we're going to go this is empty anyway so it doesn't matter we'll just create a new one we we'll call it YouTube tiling. It's gonna be pretty simple. Let's just whoop, drag our normal and texture in. Now the first thing we can do is highlight these, right click them and hit convert to texture object. Then we're gonna need to right click and bring in our world uh, world aligned texture and world aligned normal. Since these are now 2D textures, we can plug them in the texture 2D slot and XYZ to base color on the first one and XYZ to normal on the second one. The last thing we're gonna need to do is hold down our one key get a value here we're gonna plug this into our texture size and then we're gonna right click this convert to parameter let's put this at uh, five and we're gonna call this 
sizing or tile sizing. You can see here that's pretty. It seems to be working over here. Looks like it might be a little high though. Let's adjust this down. Save it up. Now that we have our tiling material, we can see it seems to be working, although it's very small. So we're gonna go ahead and create a material instance, apply it, and adjust our tiling size now. now. As you see, as we increase it, the tiles get bigger. So if we wanted super large stone blocks, we now can have them. But I think that brings us to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys were able to follow along and fix your tiling issues. If you were, hopefully I've earned your like, comment, or subscription today. Alternatively, we also have a Patreon if that's more your style. Either way, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. I'll see you in the next video.